Was there any kind of clear, clear winner? I think this, by the way, this paper, my favorite cover, I looked at all the covers this morning. Does this, do you think, accurately describes last night's match? Absolutely. I'm at, yeah, I think it was a tie. Um, Schultz was better than expected, I would say. But um, it's not enough uh, to change the outcome of this election. Um, Guy? Yeah, I, 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 the most interesting race in this whole story is, is who's going to come third. Uh, and I guess nil-nil doesn't really sort of classify that. I, th this was the grand coalition in action. How on earth do these two have a meaningful debate when they've been in government together for the last few years? I know, I know Schultz can't say that, but, but his party can. Th this was a government versus government election debate. It's true. I think especially if you're used to, to debates like Clinton versus Trump or something, uh, you know, then I think this last night's debate <laughs> was pretty boring in comparison, definitely. But also you saw certain differences on certain points, for example, on Turkey, where uh, uh, Schulz was very tough on uh, ending the accession talks, and Merkel actually first was also tough uh, uh, and said, no, 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 we shouldn't end them. But later she switched around even. So even that point uh, then became uh, they were on the same She ground. did kind of switch a little bit yeah. as well on the diesel issue, first saying, like, the software fixes are enough, and yeah. then when pressed by yeah. the moderators, yeah. said, okay, maybe we need to do a little bit more there. Is that, you think, was that the only part of the debate that uh, could fairly have generated headlines? I think, I think it's a weak spot, actually, because... People feel she has been too soft on the car makers here. And now, of course, she's under pressure to just, uh, you know, stand firmer and say, yeah, these car companies really have to uh, improve and they maybe also have to uh, It's the executives, damage. right? I mean, because both yeah. of them are, are very kind to the workers and still want to keep all 800,000 employed and love the automaking, you know, segment as a leader of German industry. It's the executives that at least Martin Schultz kind of brought up as really the targets. Yeah, absolutely. And Merkel has tried to be tougher now. She says, you know, I'm really angry at this. Uh, but, you know, everybody knows she still is called the car chancellor also, you know.